Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back again with another Borderlands the pre-sequel video, and today we're going to be counting down the days to pre-sequels launch. We are just seven days away from playing this game, and today I want to go over a variety of things uh, over the next week of why you should be excited for this game and why you should get it. Now before we do that, I want to go ahead and take this, this video to go over an issue that I have seen pop up all over a variety of channels, my channel, uh, Cathalian's channel, Max channel, a lot of channels in general, that there's a fear that this is just a giant DLC or expansion pack. And I want to put that to rest. I have played the pre-sequel, and it does not feel like a... It doesn't feel like an expansion. It feels like a fully-fledged game. The characters have a lot more character development in them. They will react according, accordingly to what is happening in the game. They will have conversations with the NPCs. You don't ever feel like your character is just some person who's really excited about loot, but not much else as to what's going on around them. They will, you know, if you, if you are fighting a large boss, they'll have a conversation about it. They'll start talking about what this boss is doing and how they can counter it. They actually, you know, converse with the side missions. It's not just some little thing that they do for experience. Uh, the combat system has been reworked. The combat is now more balanced. Um, the, the scaling just isn't as ridiculous as it was in Borderlands 2 where... You know, the difference between level 20 and level 40 was a factor of 10. Now it's more like a factor of 2, maybe even less, depending on um, certain aspects. So the scaling has changed. Elements, uh, the dots actually feel powerful now. That is a complaint that's been in Borderlands 2. It's fixing a lot of the problems um, that were in the fr that were in the second game and bringing a lot of new mechanics. There is oxygen. There is uh, the ground slam. There's the mobility and the verticality of having double jumps and just being able to move around a lot faster. And because of this, the hip fire was improved. So that way, you didn't have to a ADS so much, and just all of these changes. So I feel like a lot of people really need to give Borderlands pre-sequel a real chance before calling it a major DLC. The characters themselves, in addition to all of the uh, interacting with the, uh, with the NPCs to so bring a better story element, they all feel fresh and natural. Uh, Wilhelm plays how you would expect Wilhelm to play. He is a giant cyborg who is very tough to kill and his skill trees and all of that reflect that the same with Athena she is a gladiator and is very uh, very offensive and very defensive claptrap is a malfunctioning AI and his action skill represents that you really you have control but at the same time you don't you don't know what claptrap is gonna do and I like that that is something that should be in the game. It fits his story. It fits his personality. And there's a lot of different changes that they're adding in. There's the grinder. This is going to allow you to get rid of that extra loot that you have. You know, if you have some just throwaway loot rather than selling it, why not grind it up? Get a chance at a legendary. Get a chance at a blue or, you know, just something that isn't what you are currently using. So you'll have extra uses for that. Uh, the currency is going to be able to give you um, more options other than just SDU upgrades. That was a big problem in Borderlands 2 is that once you've maxed out your SDUs, there really wasn't much to do with them. And now there's a lot more benefits via buying uh, consumable buffs, gun upgrades, and all of these different changes. Throughout the next uh, couple days, we're going to be breaking into each of these segments uh, and taking a real in-depth look at what we can expect going into the pre-sequel. So I hope you all will join me over the next few days as we count down to the pre-sequel's launch. I want to thank you all for watching. This will be a series that's going on each and every day. If you'd like to leave a comment 
in the comment section below of what you think should be covered next. Uh, let me know, and we'll just uh, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it and everything that you can expect from it. As a, again, as I said, I've played the game. It's going to be fun. You all should be excited for this. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Help support me in what I do. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for future content. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.